Looks like some regulars were waiting for Glenton. Fucked up the ambush, turned it into a bloodbath. I don't see his body, though. Southeast. Not a noise. Crazy bastard led them into an ant colony. Christ, he and the rest of them might just be ant shit by now. out in this hall must have made a racket attracted the bugs hey my day motherfucker it's yours like this pair got separated, panicked. Bad place to lose your cool. Guess the lieutenant made his last stand here. No sign of Glenn. find another way out of this shithole. Swift and silent. Must be the mom up ahead. I 
think we'd do well to sneak past. I'll stir up the hive. I did. Damn, that is some freak luck finding that letter. Dead bastard just saved us a hell of a lot of time. Doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Caruthers Canyon is a ways to the south, but it's not the worst stretch of wasteland I've traveled. It's nestled in a little mountain range northwest of Bullhead, not too far from Searchlight. I'd heard that settlers were opening up mines there. They probably bumped into some tribals and want Glanton to clean them out. I know of an old war tunnel that should get us close. Chances are Glanton is using the same one. If we move quickly, we might catch him. Don't worry though, lots of caravans use this route, it ain't no Chola Mountain. Here's the spot on your map. The sooner we get there, the better. Frag out.
I got a piss. Good call.
think I've got some room. It takes a lot of time and manpower to build walls like this. They must be damn scared of somebody out there. Hello. Howdy. Ain't a bad place. Just a little wild for most folk. As long as the mine keeps producing, people will keep coming. You just have to be careful outside of town. Heathen shit wolves will cut your pecker off and sing a song about it, then throw it at the walls. Got discharged in 51. Been wandering ever since. Came here for work, but ain't had any luck just yet. Nobody even believes I was in the service. They just laugh at me. I keep asking that shithead sheriff to get my records. You do that for Charlie? You can try, but that sheriff has a sequoia lodged up his ass. Won't budge on paperwork, asshole. But hey, even if you try, I appreciate it. I'm Sheriff Wayne Richardson. Been the law in town for three years now. Note the walls and our militia. Don't make trouble here. We are proud citizens of the NCR, and its laws will be enforced. Understand? Good. I hope your time in Silverwood is productive. Yes? If they could, they would. We can't leave the town undefended. There's always the risk of a Legion raiding party. Yes? Don't tell me you believed that bomb. You did, didn't you? I've seen guys like him for years, wearing old fatigues and moaning about their service. Almost all of them are full of shit. They're just conning patriotic citizens into giving up extra caps. Sorry, I won't waste my time on it. Okay, okay. I'll mail out the request for Charlie's records. Just keep this to yourself, okay? Howdy. Thank you. That'll show those assholes what I done. Three combat tours, 25 kills, and... Well, I... I can't quite recall. I'm indebted to you, stranger. Here, take this bit of change I've been holding on to, please. Bless you, stranger. I'm indebted to you. You need anything. Charlie's here for you.
Hey. Howdy. Oh, hell fire, I haven't told you about the greatest filmmaker alive. Sit back and prepare to be mesmerized. Behold, the fine cinema of Mr. Albert C. Breach, who produces the finest films made since the Great War. Hailing from Luna, California, Albert Breach has already produced over 300 feature films. His works cover every genre, including drama, comedy, and sex. He also writes works for the stage, like his award-winning play, Waiting for Hobo. My personal favorite is Ghoul 5 from Good Springs, a movie about ghouls, resurrection, and catheter tubes. I always cry at the end. Partner, this little town is growing fast and the mine is churning out money. I was damn lucky to get this place set up when I did. Sheriff can be a little rough sometimes, but I wouldn't want his job, trying to corral all these miners, hookers, and hobos. Only thing holding back this town is the crazy tribals, always killing settlers and travelers. Crazy savages don't know it's a losing battle. But once we clear out the sand wolves, I reckon Caruthers Canyon will be right prosperous, I kid you not. Well, partner, it's funny. My wife up and left me for some lone shark in Reno, so moved here to get back on my feet. Business has been a booming. I've managed to save up enough to open up a chain of saloons. I just don't know if it would work. My instinct is to stay here and keep saving. You might just be right, partner. After Jenny left me for that sleazeball Jimmy, I sort of lost my nerve. I might just head to Dayglow. Okie dokie. Hey. Yeah? The work. I used to be a fighter in New Reno, but busted my hand. Blew my shot at the title. I heard there was money in the mines, so I moved. I've thought about applying for the foreman position, if only to get out of the hard labor. I don't know though. Mine it feels like a dead end. Part of me misses the fight game. It's not all blood and savagery like people say. The skill, technique, developed expertise. It's a craft. I've thought about opening my own gym, coaching fighters, but it seems like a big risk. In Reno, it's all about connects, reputation, and money. Really? You're the first person to tell me that. Maybe it's not so crazy after all. I'll need to save up some more, but maybe. Yeah, I'll try it. those types, are you? Trying to lay lines on me? Thinking you'll get complimentary snatch? Won't happen. Not ever. If you want to know my story, it's pretty simple. Dad beat me, I ran off, started working John's, and now I follow the money. You want more than that? You gotta pay the tax. I'll be here if you need me, sugar. You do the talking, Chief. I'll be ready if this goes south. Welcome to Silverwood. I've been expecting you. 
Give me a little credit. First saw you outside of Prim before those grunts got the jump on us. I was at the tunnel when you crawled out of the ant colony. Must admit I admire your determination. Didn't expect you to make it this far. The citizens have employed me to cleanse the canyon of a malignant band of nomads, the Sand Wolves. Once the rest of my men arrive, I'll find and kill every one of the heathens. Let these settlers live in peace. My work is never finished, Courier. Say whatever you like if it gives you assurance. I will not be a trophy for bureaucrats. I answer to God and no one else. These people, they love me as much as they hate the ineffectual lawmakers judging me from afar. Move on me, and they'll turn on you with a vengeance. You're strong, though. Anyone can see it. Once your blood settles, speak with me again, and let's see if we can't cooperate. Yes? Why, our pristine polis is one of the fastest growing municipalities in the New California Republic, buoyed by commerce and mining revenue. It seems almost every day that fresh faces arrive in town, eager to assist with the taming and development of this wild country. I am proud to serve as first citizen in this exciting time of transition. I was an attorney in Shady Sands trying to get elected to the legislature. After a disagreement with some business partners, I moved here. There are scant men of letters in these unsettled corners of the Republic, so I was swiftly voted into office by my peers. I now serve at the pleasure of my constituents. You seem surprised by this move. Very well. I answer to Hoy Polloi, not feckless apparatchiks in shady sands. Bleeding hearts in comfortable offices may decry his methods, but Glanton was contracted due to popular demand, not furtive machinations. Are you familiar with the Sand Wolves, stranger? Your impertinent line of inquiry suggests ignorance, so I'll continue under that assumption. The Sand Wolves are a lot of root-sucking, truculent cunts who cling to this territory by means of violence and terrorism. They are backwards, mendacious, and utterly intolerant of outsiders. All overtures of peace or reconciliation have ended in betrayal and violence. Prospective farmers and cattlemen must linger behind the town's walls for fear of arbitrary butchery at the hands of inimical natives. I have seen the bloody scalped corpses of men and women slaughtered in the night by sand wolves, the children taken captive. The citizens come to me, pleading for resolution, demanding safety for their families. When I look in their eyes, I know what has to be done. Glanton will do it. The tribal menace will soon be purged from this canyon. God willing. Exterminate's a bit harsh, but that captures the essence of what Glanton will do. Good to know we're of one mind on this. Mayor's a real piece of work, huh? Look, I think we've been working well together. But I have something I need to say. I want Glanton, but I won't fight this entire town to get him. You want to fight legionaries, death claws, raiders, whatever. I'm with you. But if you make a move on Glanton in town, I'm walking. Don't take it the wrong way. It just had to be said. Are we good? Good to hear it. I figured you were in that frame of mind. I just wanted to be certain. <laughs>